So you're interested in starting a blog, but you've done the research and there seems like so many things to do and you can't figure out where to start. Or maybe you already have a blog and you're ready to take it to the next level. If that's you, then this video is for you because we're going to be breaking down my five things I would do differently if I was starting a blog in 2022. I'm going to get into a guaranteed method that's going to get page views to your website, a solid marketing plan that's going to make your blog known to the masses, and a content strategy that's going to continue to bring them back for more. Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, I'm Nakisha. Welcome to the winning team. And today I want to give you my five no holds bar tips on what I would do if I was starting my brand in 2022. Listen, the internet is crowded now, so I would do everything that I could do to set myself up for success. And I would tell myself these five things. Number one, SEO matters. I would take the time to learn basic SEO. One of the mistakes I made when I started my blog is I didn't have a clue what SEO was and while you don't know what you don't know it was up to me to figure that out I would get on YouTube I would get on Google and I would simply look up SEO 101 if I had to do that you can do SEO simply off of using tools like Google and YouTube and things like that you don't need a paid tool but if I were starting and I were serious I would invest into key search and I would find me 30 to 40 topics that I could rank for on my site. Now, after I've done my keyword research and I knew the topics that I was going to be writing about, I would actually create some sort of free gift or free download for my audience, giving them massive value inside. Now, what is this going to do? This is going to show my audience that I'm a valuable person, that my site is a valuable place to visit, right? In turn, hoping that they share that with friends, family members, or whoever, and that will increase my traffic. But not only that, me giving them this value packed free download in return they're going to give me their email address right and building out your email list is super super important you need to own access to your audience because when the algorithms on social media change and they're not showing your content to your people you need to be able to contact them so your email address is the next best way to do that so you providing that value first you're going to give first and then you're going to get something in return which is their email address and in that case you can then send out a weekly newsletter and keep them updated share new content on the site with them and, and a host of other things but I would dare to give before I receive next I would focus on posting over popularity listen I know people want to be insta famous and tiktok famous and all this but we're bloggers and writing is what we do so I would take the first 90 days on my blog to hyper focus on creating content. I will create one blog post a week for the first 90 days. And at the end of that 90 day period, I would have 12 value packed blog posts that people can go and see what I have to offer. Then it would be YouTube for the win. I would actually start a YouTube channel after my first 90 days of posting on my site. Because guess what? YouTube and Google are brother and sister and they feed each other very, very well. I would create videos that piggyback on the content that I create on my blog. This will give people the opportunity to find me on YouTube, find me on Google, and then be able to swap that traffic between the two. YouTube is such a powerful powerful tool for bloggers because it's a place that people come to actually research things and find out things and learn things and be entertained. The options over here on YouTube are just endless and I'm always telling people you need to be on YouTube. Like what are you doing? I understand that other social media platforms they have video and it's all cool and everybody want to go viral and all that good stuff but when I'm building my blog I would focus on my foundation and the the foundation of that blog is valuable, good content on your site and being able to be found in search, Google search, 
YouTube search. And I don't think there's a more powerful combination on the internet. Then it's community over everything. I would pour myself into my community and responding to them and engaging with them and trying to figure out what they want and what they need and I would be the resource. I would go and hang out on their channels and on their pages and I would just really, really, really submerge myself inside of the community. That also means networking with bloggers like myself that do and talk about similar things, not for the clouds, not to be seen, but to truly, truly submerge myself in the community of what I'm doing. That means being social on social media, right? That means commenting under people's videos. I would actually go live once a week. I would create some sort Sort of live show where they would know I would be live every week and I would just talk to my people because believe it or not going live gives people the opportunity to know like and trust you so much better because I get to see your mannerisms and how you act and how you respond and how you lift your eyebrows I would actually go live every single week with my audience and get to know them and get content ideas from them and really really just establish myself as a presence in their online life and from all that, I would know the money's going to come. I would get out here not expecting to get paid for at least the first six months to a year. Now, that's not to say that I wouldn't do things to monetize my platform. I'm just saying my expectation wouldn't be to get paid or to make money from this because my focus would be to show up as an authority, give value, pour myself into the community so that my people could see me as an asset when I got ready to launch something. Thing. That's the super condensed version of what I would do if I was just now starting my blog. But I want you to check out this video right here because I break down this process even more and give you a full plan of what you should be doing to start your blog off with success.